Welcome back everybody, uh, my name is Always. welcome to another programming tutorial. Now in this video I'm going to be teaching you how you can debug Angular application using WebStorm. Now I've used the free text editor for web development, for example Atom or Visual Studio Code which is pretty great. Uh, but my favorite IDE, which obviously is not free, uh, it's created by JetBrains called a WebStorm. Uh, it's about $55, but uh, they're not sponsoring me to make this video, it's just my personal preference. Now, they have a feature called uh, debugging, right? So there's a feature called JavaScript Debugger, which I'm going to teach you how to use, uh, which basically helps us a lot to uh, debug applications quickly and very easily, and there are some benefits to it as well. So in WebStorm, I have this project inventory system, which is... I guess it's the Angular 5 project. Yep, that's right, I was working on this one. Okay, so here I'm going to open Google Chrome as well, which uh, basically will require us to create, actually download an extension to be able to debug application running from WebStorm. Now, simply, you will go edit configuration. As you can see, I have a debugger here set up. I'm gonna cancel out, I'm gonna remove that. All right, so here I'm going to create a new debugger by clicking on this plus icon and then click on JavaScript debugger. And then here, as you guys know, Angular application runs on localhost column 4200 by default. So we leave them the default and the link is this and I'll just name debug. All right, I'm gonna apply and close. Now here, I am not running the server yet but I will click on a debug button in WebStorm. Let's click on debug. And now it's saying that the JetBrains support extension for Chrome, please ensure that the JetBrains IDE support extension installed. So I'm gonna click on that, which will take me to Google Chrome and then make me install that app. So I'm just gonna expand this and close this. This is the one. All right, so JetBrains IDE support, I'm gonna click on add to Chrome click on add extension and that extension should be adding added now so here it says okay localhost 4200 it's trying to debug but it wouldn't because that first time when we click on the debug button it didn't start the server so I'm going to click on debug and there you go it opens up the browser it goes to the same extension that's there uh, no it's not actually verifying so we'll leave that on I'm going to click on uh, let's just say 4200 and see if uh, the server is running. Okay, now it's not running, so I'm going to go to terminal and here I'm going to type the command ng serve, which will make sure uh, our server is running. So, Angular CLI is used. Alright, so, yep, that should be fine now. We'll just refresh that and now our application, whatever is there, should be up and running soon. Okay, there you go. Now it's there. We have this, we have this kind of application which I've been working on. So now I'm gonna just snap both on the side. All right, and then I'm gonna snap this here. All right, so I'm gonna click uh, here to make a breakpoint and I'm just gonna refresh the browser. Once I refresh the browser, there we go. So now, if I just decrease the size and decrease the web storm size, so we can look at, now when I click on this uh, line and then start debugging, and now our compiler stopped that line. And instead of I'm debugging in a Chrome browser, which is great as well, but it, had, it lacks a lot of options. Now this is our debug console. Now here it gives me local is undefined, so I'll just click on this button to go to the next statement, and then next statement, next statement, and then let's just run it completely. Okay, the application is running, but now we didn't really have much there, so that is why we didn't really see. But if we go to some other, let's just say app component, and here I'll just say, okay. Let's just debug here. I'm gonna remove this space. Let's refresh the page. And now it should have a breakpoint there. So we had one breakpoint there. I'm just gonna let it run, let it run, let it run. 
that run and there should be another breakpoint. We should see that soon in the file out compile. All right, there you go. So here we have inventory system. Now I'm going to let this run in the browser. Okay, I actually run that, so we need to refresh the browser again to see that. So I'm going to close, I'm going to stop that, and then let it run. And that should go to the next line. Oops, didn't work. It's still in a debugging process, taking a bit longer, I'm not sure why. But there are a few options here that I want to talk about. Once you are debugging within the WebStorm, and then also, if you right click, you have some sort of a watches. You can add watches. So let's say no matter where you are at the application, and you can have a variable or a, a, a variable which stores some values you can add to watches. Now here it says, well, it will give you the the value which is in a which is available in that variable no matter where you are in an application. It will give you the current uh, current value for that. We have a console, we have elements, so all the HTML you see here should present here. Okay, so you can just basically see that and expand that in AngularJS. Now, my main motive was if I go to debugger now, uh, I did run again, that's no worries, no problem. But if you start debugging, this is how you configure the debugger. Now, once you start debugging and you realize there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more options available here compared to just debugging in the browser. And this is obviously not a tutorial for a complete debugging options. So I've shown you a couple of options like add to watches, uh, variables to watch, and also how to debug. So just simply click on here, one of the red circles you see, that's where the compiler will stop and let you see the values, what's in there, okay? so. That's about it. This is a very short video. I wanted to introduce to you guys a debugging in WebStrom for Angular application, which is straightforward, very simple. And I'll be back with a complete tutorial for uh, debugging in WebStrom.